All righty, it is your favorite auditor, Audit Dem, the one who encourages you to audit them. We are in the city of Vernon Hills. I do believe I've been here before, but I have not checked on the section four with them. Um, today I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm shooting in 1080, which my phone has phone stabilization. So hopefully it's a little bit more stable, stabilized. I do have my clipboard with me and um, we like to verify if they are indeed complying with section four. Alrighty. I don't see anything here. No, I don't see nothing there. Let's see if something is prominently displayed right here. Nope. I don't see anything here. This is the city hall. So let's see here. Commercial. Nope, nope, nope. I don't see anything here. Business cards. That's all right. I got it. Okay. Village manager. No, the 1080 is not as clear as the 4K quality. See the font is not Oh they are LGBT They got the LGBT over there Halloween Hi how's it going Good, I'd like to you? inspect the um, Operating budget You'd like to inspect the operating budget sure. Absolutely I just need you to fill out A FOIA form which I have right here. Who's the current acting FOIA officer? Uh, it's all three of us up here. We uh, do, it's a joint effort to do them together. Okay. Um, the operating budget does not require filing a FOIA request. Okay. But I'll hang on to the FOIA. Yeah, I will. Give me one moment sure. to ask our finance director. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, I prefer to see the original one, the, the finance director's copy, since he is here. I'm sure he is. That was a good call. They mentioned the, the finance director. I said, perfect, perfect time. Perfect time. See, look, Village of Vernon Hills, LGBTQ. Because baby tonight. Winter coats, winter quads, winter quads. Winter quotes. Man, it's getting cold out. Good afternoon. Hello. How can we help you? Um, no, I'm I'm waiting. Mm -hmm. I have your son. Usually give it to Kristen. Okay. She gives it to the finance person. Um, is someone downstairs, or do I need to keep his genealogy? 
Cause baby tonight Alright, let me pause it for a minute CT, I told you The text is not clear In 1080 What do you guys say? Is this text clear? It is uh, Eligible or visible, legible. Here's the FOIA forms for C. in the meeting like a zoom oh. meeting so i wasn't able to talk to him but i did find myself an extra copy sure also just so you know um like while we answer the foia request for our building department our sure. actual foia officer is the village manager okay so i just wanted to correct that um but you're welcome to look at this one yeah um we would appreciate having it back though when you're done of looking course. at it because sure. it is available online like if okay. you wanted to print anything it's all on our website well it is supposed to be prominently displayed at the public body the secondary requirement is to be shall be posted online as well but is this the um so this is not the one for members of the members of the public to keep uh we honestly don't have an extra copy right now i mean okay. you can have that one that's our and i we also have one up here but when i invoice yeah. i don't have one for the public to keep since we make it available online we tell them that they can actually print it off for themselves right to but to be in compliance with the ada sometimes some some folks they uh not saying for me or whatever but some folks they prefer to look at the hard copy and you know it's just, supposed to be required at the city hall to have it displayed um could you now could you show me where in this total operating budget is the um organization the block diagram showing functional subdivisions give me one moment because sure. this is not my area of expertise okay let me Are see you, if uh, i can yeah. find someone it's who's really able to a, one of the foia officers uh yeah, should I'm be able to handle that, that. <laughs> okay okay give me give me one i'll moment. hang on to that while you yeah, do that absolutely. thank you absolutely sure absolutely thanks sure. block diagram did you say black or flat no black uh like a square yeah okay that's right. what i thought but the second time i was like <laughs> She seems nice, man. All right, let me pause this for a minute. I did find the black diagram right here, but it is not prominently displayed. So I'm gonna click off no, no. Black diagram, prominently displayed, no. Total amount of operating budget, no. How's it going? Well, I ready? found. This I, is my assistant, Bill. Nice to meet you, sir. John. I found the black diagram here. Are you also the FOIA officer? I'm sir? not. That that person's in a meeting. Okay. Uh, and usually he works. Uh, here it is. Okay. So what I'm here for, sir, is there's seven requirements for FOIA to be prominently displayed under Section Seven. Okay. Um, one of them is a block diagram well one of them is the total operating budget it was made available but it was not prominently displayed a list of documents or categories of records for immediate disclosure is okay. that available for inspection can I read it again let me see it sure uh let me see yes what was the question you read which one uh, yeah. um here Each public body shall prominently display a so brief description of itself, a black diagram, is it a operating budget, permit? separate yes. offices, For approximate number of Maryland. employees, yeah. approximate number of full time so and part time, identification of any members under section 3.5. Each freedom of information officer shall develop a list of documents or categories. Each public uh, FOIA officer shall develop a list of documents or categories of records that the public body shall immediately disclose upon request. 
Yeah, so those are all the requirements there. Shall be prominent displayed. So do we agree that this wing pretty satisfied with that one? Is that right there? Block diagram? Yes, it is. Okay. But it, it was not prominently displayed. It's required to be in one of those bulletins, all seven of those records. Okay. Yeah. I visited over a hundred places, over a hundred yeah. municipal corporations. Yeah. Can I keep this? Sure you can, yeah. Want, so it wants it. Um and displayed. out of the hundred municipal corporations I visited. There was only one who had all seven records prominently displayed, McHenry Village Hall. Okay. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get there. Hopefully I'll be back in the next yeah. thirty days. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. It's a brief description. Yep. Okay. We are the village of Vernon Hills. We were established in eighteen hundred and so on, you know. I think that I think that satisfies it right there. Um it it is a possibility, but it's not prominently displayed. Yeah. Yeah, brief description. Yeah, so yep. we got two. Uh huh. Got a brief description too. Um, Log diagram giving its function for me. The yep. total amount in its operating budget. Yeah, really, just the total amount, thirty million, yeah. posted on the wall somewhere, you know, or whatever yeah. the total amount is. And um, okay. mm -hmm. so, yeah, the number of locations of separate offices. Our waterworks is located on this street. Our public. Okay. Our works is located oh, it's on. We've only got three. So yeah, sure, PD, sure. PD. So what does that say? Number of locations. And you are Kevin? No, I'm John. He's not available. Oh, anymore. John. Okay. Yeah. Portillo. Yep. That's the pizza place. I wish. <laughs> <laughs> Or, or the uh, roast beef flakes, Portillo. Oh, nice. <laughs> You're right. Yeah, yeah. Or the BMW dealer. Yep. No. <laughs> uh, fees know. allowable under Section 6 of the FOIA Act. Here is your FOIA form. I don't see fees on the actual form. Where do you see that on here? Um, fees allowable under Section 6. Right here, fees allowable under Section 6 of this Act. I just mark all no as a for right now. Hold on, don't mark them all no. I think, oh, okay. we, got, I think we got a couple out there. We're gonna hit. We're gonna hit the commission one, I bet. Sure, sure. So let's go out there and look. Let's okay. Look. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> If I want it to be friendly, that mm -hmm. sign could be construed as approximate number of employees. It might be out of date, but that is prominently displayed. Okay. And that is approximate number of employees, huh? No, that's just board. Okay. That's a, that's a board. Yeah, because it's 2002. That's a board. That's a board. Too. Okay. <laughs> we got we got a PNZ one up here for you. Okay. Yeah. Let's see what I got up here. Let's look. Let's look. Sure. Let's keep working. Usually I forward over my checklist to the Attorney General okay. of all non-compliance, but I'd like to check with the public body, maybe in 30 days they have the stuff up, I'll double check and say before reaching out to the AG. All right, let's look at this together. Sure. So here's what I think we're going to get for you. Okay. I'm pretty sure that if I post this in the window, 
or good. It's, it's a brief yeah. description, so it's just now it's about interpretation of what, yeah, whether, whether sure. you like it or not. So right. That's a brief interpretation. Of course it, it is. So that's yeah. going to be posted. Yeah. So a brief interpretation will post. Mm -hmm. Check. The block diagram. Yes, sir. We got that. Mm -hmm. The operating budget, just the bottom number. This is the, right, mm -hmm. the total number. Separate offices is easy. Yeah. There's only three here. Right. Uh, so that number of full time, part time. That yep, that's a roster. And, and the fees allowable under six yeah. and yeah. section three point five, a list of documents or categories for a record that should be this one right here under FOIA officers. So develop a list of documents. Yeah, you might have to tell the AGME on that one. That's what I'm saying that one. <laughs> Okay. A list. Tell me what you see in other places. Well, the list, what they have on the list is zoning and ordinance book. That's readily available. Um, operating the operating budget in its totality. That's a record that shall be furnished immediately. What was the first one? Um, zoning and ordinance. Uh, minute meetings, you know, those type of records that are readily available is what some other towns had. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take a look at that one. Sure. I'll take a look at that one. I'm all set for it today. I checked yeah, off it's notes. Good. It's good. It's good, yeah. yeah Come on back. Come back. Give me 30 days. Look for me. Look, ask for me. I, I appreciate <laughs> your assistance, sir. Yeah, ask for me. And great attitude. Um, I love it. That's, I'm submitting one FOIA request for today there. Okay. If I could just receive a, a stamp copy of that, and I'll be all set for today. FOIA logs. Is there a copy? Yeah. Wants to do a FOIA? Yep. For your log of 2022. Thanks, Thank you, sir. I'm Thanks. George. George, I'm John. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Yep. Okay, you want to copy this? Please, can I have a stamp copy of that? Like a received stamp. Oh, sure. Thank you. You got a receipt? Yeah, with today's date? Sure, yeah. yep. I'll be back in the next 30 days. All right. Thank, Thank you. <laughs> I, I appreciate you guys' service here today. Forthcoming and uh, courteous. Of course. Yeah. When I didn't know what you were, I was like, I gotta get some backup. You should maybe. see Volo City Hall, how they responded to the same inquiry. Yeah. There's about maybe, I don't know, 50 people that called in and said, you guys are rude. You guys need training or replacement. The way they responded to this really? simple inquiry. Yeah. Oh. They turned their back well. around, gave a BS attitude and called the deputy sheriff. The deputy sheriff was on my side. He's like, yeah, they're slacking and messing up. It's all on video. <laughs> but anyway, ladies, thank you guys so much. You Here's are your most copy. welcome. Yeah. Sure, and then I'm all just, set. Just to make sure it's prompt, prompt. analysis at protonmail.com. It is, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. All right, all right awesome. guys. Thank you so much. Oh, Take thank care. You. Happy, Happy holidays. You as well. Thank, thank you. you. God bless. All righty, perfect here. Yeah. What do you see here? Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, so the FOIA log for the police side and the city side. Okay, yeah, the, yeah. got them all in the Because it's all okay, thank you. All right, hey. So, that's how that went. Hey, seven out of seven records not prominently displayed, but the gentleman was real nice. Jonathan, God bless him. Uh, if you guys want to put in a good word for him, he said he is. He is going to have these records. He did mark them down. He is going to prominently display them. Because of me, um, he is going to comply with the law, the Freedom of Information Act. They had 20 years that they posted up Halloween stuff and Christmas stuff, but they did not prominently display what's required, the power to the people for you. That's why I'm here. The one who encourages you to audit them. What them up, though. Audit them, your favorite auditor, the one who encourages you to audit them. We are back at the Vernon Hill City Hall. I remember I came here in the past. I don't have the exact date on me. However, I strongly believe I gave these people the package plan for 21 days to come in compliance with FOIA. And we're here to see right now if they are indeed compliant. And honored their word. Yeah, I remember this one precisely.
okay good we got the we got the black diagram right there okay we got FOIA purposes right there we got locations all right great these people came into compliance let me check it all off one by one all righty another one they gave me my word they gave me their word and they came in compliant all right, so here we go. We got the block diagram. Let me mark that off, yes. A brief description of itself. All right, well, there's separate locations. Separate locations is prominently displayed. total amount of operating budget oh okay part-time full-time employees part-time and full-time employees yes approximate number of full-time and part-time employees is right there yes that's it is vision statement mission statement is prominently displayed um a brief, brief description, yep. Total amount of operating budget. It's right there. Total amount, 48 mil. All right, that's prominently displayed. Um, fees allowable under section six is available. All righty. Okay, so there's one item here that we don't see. which is the list of records that shall be prominently displayed, uh, list of records that shall be furnished immediately. Speak to the good folks right here. Hello. Hi, is the FOIA officer here today? Sure, thank you. What's your name, please? George. Take one of these pens. Take a black ball pen. If it's not one thing, it is another. Just read to the choir. Burning Hills. Think about all these years, the FOIA officer here was getting paid for FOIA, but only doing. Hello, hey, bud. You remember me? Yes, I do. You remember me? Man, I, remember I appreciate me. that you put up all required Thank records. You. How are you? Thanks for coming Good. back. Good to see you. Good to see you. The only thing I did not see 
is the list of documents or categories of record for immediate disclosure. Oh, you have a list, ma'am? Oh, yeah, we did that. Great. It's right here in the file. Do we, have, we have this here for you? For oh, everybody. Cool. So here we go. Hi, Hi ma'am. How's it going? There's, there's the Good. list. You want to copy that? Perfect. Copy the budget. So you've seen the budget? Yeah, the okay. total amount of budget is available. Yep. Yes, it is. The whole yep. budget there if you want to yep. take a look. The village zoning map, if you walk down that way, mm -hmm. uh, if you go down there, you'll see it. The village board meeting schedule should be up there, but I believe it's also in here. This is the list of documents of records for immediate disclosure. Yep. Can that, I have a copy of that? Want a copy of the list? Yeah. Oh, there it is. No, I'll just take that's a photo. List. Yeah, I'll just take a photo. Um, yeah, I, We're all about compliance here. That's the way to go. It's good that I brought it to your attention. It huh? is. Yeah. We appreciated um, it. I, lo I Did love. You see how nice it is, Liz. Spent oh, oh. Yeah, I Where love. Liz spent a whole afternoon making that nice. I love to com I love to complain to the attorney general, but why should I when this? Well, we appreciate that place came in compliance. Well, I'm glad you came back. We worked hard on this. We were see, hoping you were going to come back. Wondering if you were ever coming. I'm back. coming back. Yeah. I filed two forms. The first time I put all no. Okay. I did not send that off to the attorney general. Okay. I want to send this one off that says all oh, yes. Because I'm sending the attorney yeah, general. Think. 100 slips from 100 municipalities at one time. Uh -huh. Here's my report of my findings, ma'am, to the Attorney General. And I could be special working for somebody or I could just be a regular member of the public. It does sure. not distinguish, you know, does not matter. But I do appreciate you folks. Um, so I are, did, we, are we 100% of compliance? Because we're of all course, about compliance. Here. It is, yes it is, <laughs> yes it is. And um, I visited another town. FOIA officer was arguing with me saying no it's already online our attorney said it's online i asked what's the attorney's name i look up his attorney's name on google it looks like his attorney's a bad actor from you know things okay. that he done in the past okay then the employee decides to come in compliance so i just left their town and they came in compliance they made everything available but they saved their t they saved their town from major complaints and you know redress and all that stuff we're just following a simple task is made easy. You made it easy for us by giving us what the, the checklist, so thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and you folks set a great example of what other, really 8,000 public bodies in Illinois have to comply with this portion of FOIA. Well, awesome. Yeah. Well, thanks for visiting Vernon Hills. And if you, I don't know how many followers you got, but if you can, <laughs> if you can see our experience at Vernon Hills, uh, yep. board, maybe take a nice us, photo. Yeah, maybe, thank you. Maybe give us a shout out and follow mm -hmm. us on, we're on Instagram. Or Your name or, was? I'm John Petrillo. I'm on the right. John, one of the right. that's right. It's the one on the right. Top. Yep. Um, I got to borrow your deep voice for a day. You want? I could do some voiceover. <laughs> John, okay. I think, I think it's this one up here. Right here. Oh, here we go. Perfect. I'm sure the people are going to shoot out an email saying well, great service, that. great excellence, well, and we really yeah, respect us on Instagram. We're, you know, we're all about uh, trying to be a welcoming and inclusive community, and we obviously survive on people visiting our stores and our shops mm -hmm. and our restaurants. So uh, any shout out that you can give them, I'm sure Yeah, for sure. It. There's going to be so many other visits that I'm going to visit towns where employees are going to be belligerent, combative, That's just because I'm pointing this stuff out to them. Her sometimes, but not <laughs> her sometimes. <laughs> All right, guys. God bless. Thank you so much. Thanks for, thanks for yeah, coming back. For sure. I'll be back in six months to see if it's updated. It'll be out. <laughs> Thank, <laughs> Thank you. you, guys. Take care. All righty. That's what we love to see. They thank me for my services here today. You see, I'm, I'm really walking the faithful walk. I'm trying to walk the good walk. And we got Cesars out here trying to destroy my credibility by putting lies about me online and all type of stuff. But none of that is going to fly. The wind always wins with the people. The wind is always with the people, the one who encourages you to. Oh, here, let me show a business card of the employee. If you guys do decide you want to put out a good word, please do so. He's a very respectful man. I really respect the man. Salute to him, setting a great example of all of how all public entities should respond. Thank you.